Hi everyone, it's Miss Melanie. I'm gonna share a story with you. It's called Swatch, The Girl Who Loved Color. And after the book, um, we have a project that you might wanna try, a very colorful one, so stay tuned. Swatch, The Girl Who Loved Color by Julia Denos. In a place where colors ran wild, there lived a girl who was wilder still. Her name was Swatch, and she was a color tamer. She was small, but she was not afraid. She could run with the wildest shades, train them to dance and do magic. With a little patience, she learned to hunt for the rare ones. Bravest Green shot up the first week of March. In between Gray lived on her kitten's leg. Rumble Tumble Pink rolled through the sky on the heels of outgoing thunderstorms. When she called them by name, they would come to her because Swatch loved color and color loved Swatch back. Swatch had never thought of capturing a color until the day she lured just laid blue straight from its nest and into a jam jar. Stay, Swatch said, and the color stayed. How beautiful it looked behind glass. You could use a friend, she said to Blue. So she caught one more, then another, and another. Soon Swatch's room was full to bursting. The colors circled restless in their jars. They were magnificent, but there was still one color left to catch. Morning came, and there it was. Fast fading and fierce, the king of all yellows, blooming in the sidewalk crack in spite of the shadows. Swatch was ready. At last, yellowest yellow would be hers. Suddenly, she heard a small sound. Ahem, said Yellowest Yellow. What are you doing? Swatch had never asked if a color wanted taming. Yellowest Yellow, she asked politely. Would you like to climb into this jar? You could sit on a shelf right next to blue. You could make green together all day long if you wanted. I'll poke holes in the top and I'll feed you dinner. But Yellow, knowing that was no way to live, said, no thank you. So Swatch, who could have scooped it up anyway, said, okay. And given that small but kindly allowance, it grew and yawned and stretched and twirled. It bloomed and whirled and leaked and swirled, spreading, billowing, twisting up, up, up. It sprouted ears and pointy teeth. It was as big as a house. Roar, went yellowest yellow. Swatch felt small. Her jar seemed silly. She had forgotten. Colors were wild. So she shut her eyes and prepared to be eaten. Then Swatch heard something sweet and warbling, like a fleet of canaries. She smelled something warm and buttery 
like breakfast. Then something swished against her knee, purring and soft and just like home. So she opened her eyes. She reached out her hand and stretching from her tip tiptoes, she found she could indeed touch yellow. Hold on, yellow said, and it pulled her up, 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 high over the rooftops. She called her colors by name and they came to her. Together, they made a masterpiece. The end. And here's a picture of Julia Denos, the author of this book. It says the hardest question for Julia Denos to answer is what is your favorite color? <laughs> I think she likes many, many colors. All right. So now we'll go into my studio and I'll show you a project that you might want to work on. So now I have a project that you might want to try um, inspired by our book, Swatch. Um, and it's creating a color wheel, a color wheel with found objects. So these are just materials that you can find anywhere around your house. Um, and we're going to arrange them in basically a rainbow. So I have an artist's color wheel. Artists use these to, um, to help them paint, study color, find out which colors go well together, that sort of thing. Um, you can also find a simpler version online. And so what I what we'll do with our found materials is we will arrange them like a rainbow. So I found some red in my kitchen. Uh, let's see. Oh, I found some orange in my office area. <laughs> Ooh, some yellow left over from Easter. And you can just arrange them in a circle. If you don't have um, a color wheel to place in the center, a paper plate works well to get it that circle shape. Um, but what we'll do is we'll just arrange them in that order. Here are some other examples of found object color wheels. Lots of different objects. You can probably find a lot of this stuff amongst your toys or maybe in the kitchen. Maybe you have a collection of some sort. This artist used only buttons. Some of my friends in the Jackrabbit and Havelina class classes have been showing us their collections and you might want to try this like Carter he arranged them all in a row by color which is very interesting can try this project is by arranging your materials using just your favorite color and doing a value scale which means the artist just arranged them light to dark similar to what you would find 
maybe on some color chip samples. As always, we'd love to see your work. So snap a picture of your project and send it to atelier.pinnaclepress at gmail.com.